Hi kids, I'm Storytime Pup, and welcome to the Storytime Pup Show. I'm so glad you came by to play. I love when my friends come by to play, and you're one of my friends. Are you ready to have fun? Let's see what we're going to do today. Magic Marker, show us what we're going to do today. Yay! It's storybook time! We love storybook time! Well, hi kids! And thanks for coming by as I read today's book. Today's book is My Little World. And it's written by Don McLucas and Norma McLucas. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started with today's book. In this cozy neighborhood live four friends who all share something in common. Do you ever feel too little to do some things? Summer, Chris, Juan, and Kira are friends, who each feel that they are sometimes just too little. Chris, Summer, Juan, and Kira think about some of the things they can and can't do. Each of the friends wishes they could do so much more. Chris is a five-year-old boy who loves to learn. It's morning and Chris is getting ready to start the day. I can't see in the bathroom mirror, Chris says sadly. But I can brush my teeth and wash my face and hands, Chris happily exclaims. After getting dressed, Chris decides to clean his room. Chris states, I can't vacuum my room. But I can't help make my bed, put my toys away, and pick up my clothes, Chris says. Later in the day, Chris goes to sit out in the backyard. I can't swim in the big pool, Chris says, but I can play in the small pool, Chris states. In another home in the neighborhood, of Summer. Summer is a four-year-old girl who enjoys playing games. She sits in her room thinking about things she can do. I can't go to school with older kids yet, Summer says, but I can't play learning games, Summer states gladly. I can't spell or write every word, Summer says, but I can say the alphabet, Summer says thankfully. multiply or divide in math, Summer states, but I can learn to count and to add and subtract, Summer says. Down the street, in a neighborhood corner house, lives Juan. Juan is a five-year-old boy who enjoys being outside. While outside, Juan thinks of all the things he can do. I can't ride a two-wheeled bicycle, Juan says. But I can ride a tricycle, Juan excitedly expresses. I can't play basketball, Juan says. But I can throw and catch a ball and play kickball, Juan exclaims. I can't play baseball, Juan says. But I can find good hiding places for hide and seek. Juan says eagerly. I can't mow the lawn, Juan says, but I can help rake and pick up the leaves, Juan states cheerfully. In the last house on the street lives Kira. Kira is a creative five-year-old girl who loves spending time with her family. Kira thinks about all the things she can do. I can't always help cook dinner, Kira says, but I can help set the table and use a spoon and fork to eat my food, she expresses happily. I can't wash dishes, Kara says, 
but I can take my cup to the sink, she says gratefully. <coughs> Kira goes to her room and looks at the clothes in her closet. I can't always help dress myself without help, Kira says, but I can help pick out my clothes and tie my shoes, she says joyfully. While in her bedroom, Kira looks at the books on her bookcase. I can't read or write a big book, Kira says, but I can tell a story, she states happily. Today, Juan, Chris, Summer, and Kira are playing outside together and talking about all the things they can and can't do. After thinking about all these different things, the friends understand that they are little, but they can still do many things. They all agree that the older they get, the more things they will be able to do. Summer, Kira, Juan, and Chris go home and spend time with their families. On this day, they all realize that they will always be just the right size to love and be loved. The End It was a nice book. No matter how small you are, don't think about the things that you can't do. Focus on the things that you can do. And as the older and bigger you get, you'll be able to do more and more things. I hope this book made you happy. I want to say a great big thank you to Dawn McLucas and her daughter, Norma McLucas, for sharing this wonderful book with us. There's one more thing that we always do at the end of every show. Magic glasses. Magic glasses lets me see some of my friends who came to play. Maybe I'll see you today. Magic glasses, that's the way. Show me my friends who came to play. Okay, now everyone smile and wave and let me see if I see you. Well, there's CJ and Cassidy. Hi, Aubrey and Shane. There's Ashley, Journey and Sincere. Well, hi, Jade and Samaya. Iana, there's Soraya, Kamar, Tyasia, Tiana, Kennedy, and Casey. I see a lot of my friends waving at me. Did I see you today? If not, maybe I'll see you next time. Make sure you check back soon, because we'll be adding a bunch of new shows every week. Make sure you have an adult. Click on the subscribe button right here. That way you won't miss any of the fun. Moms and dads, Make sure you visit the Storytime Pup website to sign up for our great free giveaways. We have giveaways for books, CDs, DVDs, t-shirts, and other great stuff. Sign up just once and you'll have a chance for all the drawings to come. And kids, don't forget to tell your friends about Storytime Pup. And before I go, here's a great big hug for all my friends. Thanks for stopping by to play. I'll see you real soon. Bye now.